Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Road to the Philippines. Uh, sorry I haven't been on here for a while. Uh, just been a lot going on. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I was on here. Or at least, you know, filming something, you know, with me talking on it. Uh, I know it's been several weeks. I know I, I haven't even put out a video in probably like three weeks. And I apologize for that, guys. I mean, there's been a lot going on. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I can't use working, you know, a lot of Saturdays, you know, as an excuse. But, I mean, I have. I've been working a lot. Um, but, uh, thanks. You know, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, hopefully you keep watching. I uh, hope you don't give up on me and my channel. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> You know, I wanted to dedicate this video to uh, to um, Irene's mother, um, Leona Villanova Lanaboy is her name, and uh, I'm sad to say that uh, day for, before Mother's Day she passed away um, unexpectedly. I mean, I just. It breaks my heart, you know, I'm just, I'm so sad for Irene and her family right now. I mean, I know they're going through, they're going, they're going through a lot right now. And it, it's horrible because I can't be there, I can't be there for Irene, you know, while she's going through this, you know. I didn't, you know, the country won't open up and it won't allow me in there or any other, you know, anybody else for that matter. <clears throat> but there's nothing I can do about it, you know, I just... I try to offer support, you know, as much as I can. I send her, you know, video, you know, we video chat a lot and, you know, I, I talk to her every day. But it's not, you know, it's not the same as, you know, being there for her face to face while she's going through this grieving process. Um, yeah, I, was, I, I just couldn't believe it. Uh, so, I mean, she was only 60 years old. Um, horrible, you know. Uh, her dad, you know, her dad passed away when he was like, I think she said he was like 55 years old. You know, and that, that worries me, you know. That worries me. Um, cause I, I just, I, you know, anytime Irene gets sick, you know, I get super worried cause I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. You know, I can't see her. And um, all I can do is go by what she's saying, what she's telling me, you know. But, uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to dedicate this video to her uh, in, in memory of her, um, 60 years old, you know, she passed away on May 8th, which was the day before Mother's Day, and that's got to be hard, that's, that, that's, it's horrible, I'm sorry, um, she was born on November 1st, uh, 1960, yeah, 1960, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm honored that, you know, I, I got to spend, you know, I got to spend her uh, 59th birthday with them. You know, it was quite quite an honor. And, uh, you know, she was a wonderful person, you know. <clears throat> you know, when I left, <clears throat> you know, when uh, I left, you know, that day, you know, she gave me the biggest hug, you know. And it just, I mean, I, I felt like I was part of the family, you know. I mean, it just, it felt so warm and so, so pure. It was it was amazing, and I I am greatly I'm I'm just I'm heartbroken over what has happened. Um, <clears throat> uh, she left behind um, two sons and um, four daughters, and um, I just um, you guys are in my prayers. Most definitely, you guys are in my prayers, and. Um, I ring, you know, I hope, baby, just, just hang in there, baby. I know you're hurt, and uh, I'm, I'm pulling for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> also, you know, today is, um, it's May 22nd, and my wrinkle, uh, excuse me, ironically, uh, today's Irene's birthday. So, you know, happy birthday, um, Irene, and I know it wasn't the birthday that you were wanting you know, I mean, like I said, there's, you know, the passing of her mother, I know it wasn't, 
This is definitely not your typical birthday, and I'm sorry for that. But I still want to wish you a happy birthday, and, and hopefully maybe I'll, I'll be out there, and I'll be able to spend, you know, maybe I'll be out there next birth, you know, for your next birthday, okay? <clears throat> um, yeah, well, it's been a while since I've been on here, and uh, uh, like I said, I don't remember the last time I was on here. Um, uh I've been trying to get more subscribers and um, I noticed that I haven't really been promoting my channel here lately and I can tell <laughs> I can tell when I'm not you know trying to push you know for subscribers and whatnot you know I have 169 subscribers right now and it's been in the 160s for several weeks maybe I don't know probably a couple months now but uh, <clears throat> but uh Hopefully, you know, I can get back into swing of things and start putting out more videos. Um, one of the things I want to talk about on this video is uh, just kind of what's been going on, you know, as far as like the coronavirus here in the United States and over in the Philippines. And, um, <clears throat> you know, what kind of progress is being made. Um, as of today, you know, I... You know, I check in on this um, publication called Philstar Global. Um, it's a, a newspaper. Um, it's over in, I think it's in Manila, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> as of today, there's been over 1.1 million cases of the coronavirus. Um, just yesterday, uh, there was like 6,831 cases. I mean, it doesn't seem like a whole lot you know, compared to the United States, but, you know, uh, um, it's been just been kind of going up and down, you know, it goes, that it'll start declining for a little while, then it'll start going back up. Um, <clears throat> as far as deaths, I think, as of yesterday, it was like 19,946 deaths as of yesterday. Um, 183 of them were new. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, one of the problems they've been having is, you know, the vaccines just aren't, they're not rolling out, you know. Um, uh, a lot of people just um, in the Philippines, they're, they're hesitant on what brand uh, a vaccine is being, you know, being pushed on them, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I thought this kind of funny, but, uh, you know, the government over there, they thought uh, the solution for the problem was to, <laughs> they weren't gonna announce the vaccine brand. I, I don't get that. That was what the, uh, the uh, national government was telling the local governments to do. Don't tell the people what the vaccine brand is. <laughs> and the main vaccine that they've been trying to push over there is called uh Sinovac which I don't know if you guys are familiar uh Sinovac is the Chinese made vaccine and now you know uh China is uh saying that it's 90 percent or 98 percent effective right but when it when it initially came out uh that wasn't the case <clears throat> you know, they started doing some trials uh, over in Brazil. And it showed that the initial trials was only about 50% effective. So now all of a sudden, uh, we're at 98%. Uh, yeah, I don't... <clears throat> I mean, they're, they're, they're just losing trust in their people. They're, they're, gonna, they're not going to take... They don't know what to believe, you know. So they thought, well, we just won't announce it. We won't tell the people, hey, this is, you know, Cinevac, this is uh, vaccines from Pfizer, Moderna, whatever. We're just not going to tell anybody. <clears throat> well, that's going to turn people off even more, you know. I mean, they're hesitant on getting the vaccine anyways, because, you know, like here in America, you know, it was like, you know, a lot of people don't, uh, they don't have confidence in the vaccine. If I, you know, I think it was, you know, manufactured too quickly, there wasn't enough research. Uh, a lot of people think is you know they think it's a hoax, you know. I'm guilty of that. I mean, in the in the beginning, yeah, you know, I thought the coronavirus 
You know, I thought all that was just a bunch of BS, you know. <clears throat> you know, when it first came out, I, you know, I was like, this is, this is a bunch of BS, man. I don't believe this coronavirus. I mean, you know, and I, I, I was saying that for the longest time, you know. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was a fake. I thought it was a hoax, you know. <clears throat> and, he, and this is coming from somebody that's been working in the healthcare industry uh, since 1998. Yeah, I've been working healthcare for, for over 23 years, you know. 20 years as, as a nurse. You know, I'm, I'm a registered nurse, and, and I wasn't buying it, you know. I thought this is just a bunch of bullshit, you know. <clears throat> but then, you know, I... I over time, I realized, okay, you know, this is this is not a bunch of BS. I mean, this is actually happening. You know, and uh, you know, for those of the, you know, for those of you that uh, you know still think it's a hoax, you know, it's all a bunch of BS. I tell you what, why, hop on a plane, go over to India, spend a month over there, and then come back and let's talk about it. <laughs> you know. I mean, it's horrible over there, you know? So yeah, I mean, you think it's fake, go go over to India and ask the people over there, what, you know, what they think about the coronavirus and whether or not it's fake or not, you know? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I wish you the best of luck. For, first of all, you're gonna have a difficult time coming back because, you know, the United States isn't gonna allow you to come back, you know, from India, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I just, I mean, over time, yeah, I, I, I did, I changed my mind. I, I, I looked at it differently. You know, I even got the coronavirus myself, you know, back in October. And, uh, I mean, my mild, my symptoms were mild compared to, you know, a lot of people. I mean, the United States has had, you know, at, today has had um, <clears throat> over 580,000 deaths and 33.1 million cases. So, I mean, you can say it's fake or whatever, but, you know. Uh, I'm sure they're, I'm, uh, you know, I just, <laughs> I'm sure, you know, some of the deaths have been, you know, uh, inflated, you know, I'm sure, I mean, I don't know for sure, but, um, granted it is what it is. You know, a lot of people have died from it. Um, but you know, the only way this country is going to get, get opened up and the Philippines is going to get opened up is with uh, was with the vaccine vaccination people more people are gonna have to get vaccinated otherwise this is gonna go on forever guys <clears throat> you know I mean the Philippines is a long ways from you know obtaining herd immunity you know I think they were kind of shooting for 50% I think is what they were shooting for you know 50% of the country and they would be you know satisfied that that's herd immunity but <clears throat> as a, I mean, as of today, uh, less than one percent, less than one percent of the country has been fully vaccinated, man. <clears throat> and a lot of it has to do with they're just they're not rolling out the vaccines. They're not rolling them out. Um, I just, you know. Uh, the average um, average number of jabs uh, in the Philippines is is around a hundred thousand injections or what they call jabs a day, <laughs> and only eight hundred thousand people have been fully vaccinated. Eight hundred thousand out of a population of what one hundred and ten million people. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to get, they're not going to reach herd immunity for many years down the road at going at that pace. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know what it's going to take to uh, get things turned around. I mean, in comparison to how the United States has been doing, the rollout's been, right now it's at 1.8 million vaccinations a day, right? <clears throat> The United States peaked at 3.4 million. That was back in mid-June. But we're at 40, 48%. 48% of the population has gotten vaccinated. So, I mean, we're still a ways off, but um, we're way ahead of the Philippines right now. And 
38% of the United States has been fully vaccinated. <clears throat> As of last Friday, you know, the CDC uh, recommended that, you know, they don't recommend people who have gotten vaccinated, they don't recommend that we wear uh, face masks anymore, which, I mean, that's freaking awesome. You know, I love that. You know, I was able to go, <clears throat> you know, last Saturday, I was able to go out, uh, well, not last Saturday, last Monday. Um, I went and got my car worked on, didn't have to wear a mask. <laughs> uh, I went to the gym I hadn't been going to uh, since, you know, since they were walking around making people, you know, put their mask up and all that while you're trying to work out. <clears throat> I haven't been, I haven't been to that gym since like November. Um, Walmart, uh, they're in Lee Summit. I went, uh, I went to the Walmart for the first time since this whole outbreak and I didn't wear a mask. <clears throat> I went to a, a clothing store called Kohl's and again, didn't have to wear a mask and I went to the grocery store called Price Chopper. And, uh, again, I didn't have to wear a mask. Now, the, the, now were there people wearing masks in all these places? Yes. And that's fine. You know, if you want to wear a mask, that's fine. I'm not going to criticize you. But, uh, you know, don't criticize me for, for not wanting to wear a mask. You know, that's how I look at it. <clears throat> you know, if you, do, if you don't want to get vaccinated, that's fine. That's on you, you know. I mean, if you come down with the coronavirus and you come, you know, get very ill from it, I mean, that's, that's on you, you know. Um... And that's your choice to get vaccinated or not. Um, I chose to get vaccinated um, back in February. <clears throat> you know, I, I figured it would increase my chances of getting over to the Philippines. So, yeah, that's what I did. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I hope that it will um, increase my chances of getting over there. I mean, that's kind of, that was the main reason why I got it, you know. I didn't get the vaccine you know, because I was afraid of getting the coronavirus because I already had gotten it, you know. So I already had natural immunity. I just went and got vaccinated so that I could get my vaccination card, you know, to prove that I had gotten, you know, vaccinated so that hopefully it would increase my chances of getting over there. <clears throat> Which is another thing I want to mention. Um, currently, uh, according to, um, there's a publication called um, or a website called inquire.net, um, inquire.net. No, it's not the national inquirer, <laughs> which is that fake news or whatever that is here in the United States. No, that's not it. This is a website. Um, this is a company publication, whatever over in the Philippines called inquire.net. <clears throat> And what they're doing is they are seeking um, a fast track for vaccin vaccinated tourists entry into the Philippines. Um, what they're doing is they're trying to get the uh, DOT, it's not the Department of Transportation, <laughs> it's the Department of Tourism, is what they're doing. They're urging what they call a creation of what they call a green lane <clears throat> uh, for vaccinated foreign uh, travelers. And this is being put on by um, an organization called the IATF, uh, which stands for Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infection, Infection Diseases, basically what that is. Um, yeah, IATF. Interagency Task Force, and they're working together with this management of emerging infectious diseases, which I, which, how I would look at them is like, I, uh, they're kind of like the CDC over in the Philippines. That's kind of what they're equivalent to, <clears throat> and they're trying to work something out that, you know, if you have if you've gotten the vaccine, that'll get you on the fast track of getting over there to the Philippines what they call the green lane. Uh, and I'm hoping that that's true, you know. Um, <clears throat> and they're starting to realize, um, 
according to this article, they say, uh, and I quote, we must keep pace with our neighbors, which is Southeast Asia and the rest of the world and slowly reopening our tourist destinations because what's gonna happen, they're gonna get behind. And when they start opening up, people are gonna start going to other places in Southeast Asia, other instead of going to the Philippines. And they're gonna miss out on a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of tourist dollars coming in there, you know? <clears throat> you know, Thailand's, you know, they're gonna start, if they haven't already, they, they probably have already started, you know, bubble tourism over there. You know, I mean, that's something that the Philippines had talked about uh, previously, you know, in Cebu, uh, they talked about bubble tourism, you know, uh, kind of give you an idea what that is, you know, it's like, imagine a bubble over a certain area, uh, they allow tourists into that bubble, but you have to stay within that bubble. You can't leave, you know, you can't go outside the bubble uh, to other parts of the country. That's what they call it, bubble tourism. Um, <clears throat> it's not something that I'm interested in because I want to be able to travel to other parts of the Philippines, you know. Um, and I don't know how that works. I mean, it, you know, it'd probably be, uh, there are probably only certain areas, you know, probably within that bubble that people can go to. You probably have to, you know, I'm sure you have to pre-book, you know, reservations at a hotel, you know, that's, that's, you know, been designated for that type of um, tourism. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, chances are they probably wouldn't let Irene, you know, meet me there, you know, for, for fear of, you know, me transmitting, you know, the coronavirus to her and then her leaving and going back to her family and transmitting to all of them. <clears throat> That's why I'm not interested in bubble tourism. But I'm... But it is, you know, it's one step closer to them opening up the, the whole country. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of how I look at it. <clears throat> but that's not going to happen, guys, um, until they start knocking out, rolling out the vaccine. You know, you can't, they're not going to open up the country with only 800,000 people fully vaccinated. You know, it's not going to happen anytime soon. You know, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I just keep hoping and praying that, you know, things will get rolling over there, you know, because, I mean, it's been, as of today, it's been 557 days. It's been over a year and a half since I last saw Irene. And, uh, I mean, we're hanging on. We're hanging in there, you know. We're not giving up. You know, I don't care how long this goes on. I don't care how long this lasts, you know, I'm not giving up, she's not giving up, and uh, hopefully we'll be together, you know, soon. You know, I'm still hoping by the end of this year, you know, uh, the Philippines say that they're gonna have, <clears throat> you know, they're gonna reach herd immunity by sometime this year. I don't see where they're getting that information from, or I don't see how they can predict that. <clears throat> I know they got millions of doses that are coming in, but unless you convince the Philippine people to get it, they're not gonna get it, you know? They're gonna be hesitant on getting it. And unfortunately, you know, these um, vaccines have an expiration. If they're not used by a certain date, then they're gonna end up throwing them all away and it's gonna be a total waste, you know? So they're gonna have to figure out something, you know, on how to convince people to get it. <clears throat> and hiding the information from the people is not, that's not how it's gonna happen. You, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot hide, you know, what brand it is from the people there. They're not gonna trust you, you know? I mean, that, that's, that's how it would be in any country, not just the Philippines, I mean, they, 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 you know, if they did that here in the United States, nobody would get vaccinated because they, they, you know, they'd be like, I don't, I don't trust you, you know, you know, so they're going to have to do something different. But, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'm hoping by the end of this year, 
they'll open up, I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that, you know, by being vaccinated, that'll increase my chances of getting over there, you know. But until then, um, I want to thank, you know, everybody for, for showing up, watching my video. You know, again, I'm sorry that it took me a while to put out another video. You know, like I said, there's just been a lot going on. You know, it's been kind of, it's been, you know, it's been a kind of, it's been a depressing month, you know. It's been a depressing several weeks, to be honest. <clears throat> and uh, I promise I'll try and put out, you know, more videos. Um, I kind of like to get back to putting out, you know, uh, at, least a, at least a video where I'm talking, you know, to my audience at least once a week. Uh, I've got tons of videos that I took, you know, when I was out there, you know, in the Philippines. I mean, I got a ton of videos. But, you know, when I made those videos, you know, I was just videotaping as a tourist. So I wasn't really talking a whole lot, you know, as I'm filming. So, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I mean, it's, it was good for me because, you know, I didn't plan on sharing it with, you know, with anybody or maybe just on Facebook or something. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can, uh, if you want to follow me, uh, um, you can follow me on Facebook um, under Danny Knoll. Uh, my Facebook is open to public. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can look me up under uh, Road to the Philippines. That's underscore under the, uh, after each word, Road to the Philippines, you know, underscore. Um, you can watch me there. You know, I post, um, uh, I put up photographs, you know, that of uh, me and Irene that I don't post on Facebook or, or um, yeah, or on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, you can watch, you can follow us that way. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you for tuning in and uh, keep posting, keep, keep, um, keep sharing my videos. And please subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Um, hey, give me, give me give me some ideas. Give me some suggestions on what you want to see. And uh, tell me how I'm doing. And uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And keep following me on my road to the Philippines. Have a good day.